الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلی آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایمان ایو اللہ حبا فیث ان اسلام it increases with obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So taqwa Allah azza wa jal by following the commandments of Allah and avoiding the prohibitions helps us to increase our iman, our faith. And by doing the opposite, doing sinfulness, it decreases our iman. It lessens our faith. And this is becomes apparent by following up the prophetic traditions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the verses in the Quran that illustrate these principles that Iman, faith, it increases and it decreases it increases with obedience to Allah and it decreases with masiya or disobedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and I want to, Ayu al Habba, speak about one hadith of the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam which shows us that Iman has different branches it also has different levels. Our deeds have different levels. And our iman has different levels. An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu An Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Al-imanu bid'un wa sab'un o bid'un wa sittun shu'ba Fa'afdhulaha qawl la ilaha illallah wa adnaha amatata amatatu الأذى عن طريق والحياء والحياء شعبة من الإيمان متفق عليه. In this hadith that was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim, the hadith of Abu Huraira, رضي الله تعالى عنه, who said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, إيمان is seventy branches, and in or in another narration he said it is. 60 branches. The best of it, the highest of it, is the statement, La ilaha illallah. And the lowest level is removing something harmful from the path. And shyness, ayu al habba, is a branch from iman. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, we learn that Iman has different levels, various branches, 60 or 70 branches. As the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, al-Masduq. He is the one who's truthful and the one to be believed. And that the highest level of Iman as the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam said is the statement la ilaha illallah that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah affirming tawheed negating shirk negating polytheism and the lowest level is removing something from the road so if you see a, a thorn a rock, something even in the way of the, the road that you're driving on, or the road that you're, the path that you're hiking on, or whatever the case, or the sidewalk you're walking on. Anything that's harmful, the smallest thing, even if, if it's a piece of gum that might have stuck to someone's shoe or, or, or what have you, then with the intention to please Allah, you, you'll receive reward for that. Because it's a, it's a shu'ba, min al-iman. It is a branch of iman, as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. And haya, al haya, uh, shyness is also a level of iman or a branch of iman. Ayu al habba, one of the things that we benefit from this hadith is that our deeds have different levels, our iman has different levels, our faith has different levels, and that also. The Prophet Sallallahu he said, al -qawl, he said, فَأَفْضَلُهَا قَوْلْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ He said the best of it, the highest level, is the statement لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهِ Meaning that uh, reciting the shahada, 
on your tongue with sincerity in the other conditions of, of the Shahada, of course, that this is a level of Iman and it's the highest level. And letting us know that statements of the tongue is a part of Iman. And the Prophet ﷺ said, وَأَدْنَهَا أَمَاتَتُ أَمَاتَتُ أَذَا أَنْ That the lowest level is uh, removing something harmful from the road. Letting us know that an actions, that actions are a part of Iman as well. So here in this hadith, and we already know that Iman is in the heart. No one disagrees, even the murjia, even those people who say Iman is restricted to the heart. Even non-Muslims say your faith, you know, what I believe is in my, you know, it's in my heart. But this hadith illustrates for us, Ayyuh al-Habba, that Iman is also on the limbs because the Prophet ﷺ says that removing something from the road, that's a part of Iman, part of faith. And that also the statement of the tongue is a part of Iman, as the Prophet ﷺ said it was the highest level. And haya, shyness, shyness uh, can be outward and perhaps maybe it has an inward component as well of what they feel in there. And that's a part of Iman. Letting us know that Iman is comprised of all of those components. So ayyul habba, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can, and try to exhibit Iman in its various forms by making dhikr on your tongue, by your actions, by praying, by removing harmful things, uh, by helping and assisting people with outward deeds, and by exhibiting shyness and exhibiting those, those attributes, and of course, what you believe in your heart, seek ilm, seek knowledge to help exercise your heart and to help you remove some of the filth from your heart. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with tabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.